and if you do all of this, the K-20 can very easily live a reliable life. To Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive, here today with a video on the most common Honda K20 engine problems and reliability. The Honda K20 engine has been in production since 2001 and remains in production to this very day. With such a long lifespan, there are dozens of different variants and it has been found in dozens of different Honda and Acura models over the years. So when it comes to talking about common problems and reliability, it can be a little challenging since there are some problems that may be more or less common on different different variants and models of the K20. However, there are a few issues that tend to affect the K20 more than some other problems. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight in and discuss some of the most common issues with the Honda K20 inline four. Number one on the list, we have front crankshaft seal oil leaks. The front crankshaft seal is also known as the front main seal and is responsible for sealing the front of the crankshaft to the timing chain cover area. Over time, this rubber seal is known to wear down, begin degrading, and eventually develop cracks, which allows oil to leak from the front of the engine near the timing cover area. The front main seal is one of the most common leaks on the K20, but especially on older, higher mileage engines, there are a number of different oil leaks. Now, this is a fairly simple issue. Any of the symptoms will simply involve a visible oil leak, potentially some burning oil smells or low oil if the leak is severe enough or allowed to leak for a long enough period of time. And when it comes to replacement, this isn't an urgent job that needs to be done as soon as possible, but oftentimes that leak will continue growing and getting worse and worse over the years and with more mileage. So it is good to address this oil leak sooner than later, when it comes to replacing the seal, it's about a $10 to $20 part, but it does require some labor. So if you end up at a repair shop, expect to pay about $300 to $600 in labor, but certainly a very cheap job if you are able to DIY it. Moving on to the second most common problem, we have exhaust cam lobe galling. Now cam lobes are responsible for controlling valve lift and exhaust cam lobes galling on the K20 is a well-known and well-documented issue. So this is caused by excess friction on the cam lobes. When it comes to this problem, it is one of the more severe and costly problems on the K20, at least in terms of the more common issues that tend to happen on this engine. When it comes to which K20s are affected, this can happen on any of the K20 engines. However, it does appear to be more common on the older original K20A variants. So something to be on the lookout for, especially if you're looking for an older K20 engine and specifically the K20A. Some of the symptoms to be on the lookout for include a clicking or ticking sound coming from the valve cover area and potentially power loss. This tends to happen when valve lift is actually affected by the cam lobe galling. Otherwise, there aren't really any notable symptoms. When it comes to replacement, you do have to replace the camshaft and replacing the cam shaft if you end up at a repair shop can be a roughly $1,000 to $1,500 job. So certainly a little costly in terms of repairing the exhaust cam lobe galling issues. But fortunately, even though this is a common issue, it still affects a very, very small percentage of K20 engines. Moving on to our third and final common problem for the Honda K20 engine, we have excessive engine vibrations, more specifically excessive engine vibrations caused by worn engine mounts. There are a number of different things that can cause excessive engine vibrations. But on the K20, if you're noticing those excessive vibrations, it's a lot of the times due to worn engine mounts. And this tends to be an issue that pops up around the ballpark of about eight to 12 plus years old and 120,000 plus miles. Rather than this being a true problem, this is really just more of a standard maintenance items. Motor mounts are wear and tear items and something that eventually on all cars will require replacement or at least should be replaced to deliver smooth engine operation. So something to be on the lookout out for if you are looking for an older K20 and noticing any of those engine vibrations. So really that wraps up all the common issues on the Honda K20 engine. Wrapping it all up and talking about overall reliability, the Honda K20 is a very reliable engine and that's true for essentially all of the K20 variants over the nearly 25 year production run. Honda is obviously well known and has a long history of building very reliable, trustworthy engines and the K20 is no exception. Stuff that could be said about any other vehicle or any other car 
maintain the engine well, use quality oils, stay on top of basic maintenance, and if issues do pop up, repair them as soon as possible. And if you do all of this, the K20 can very easily live a reliable life to 200 to 300,000 plus miles with very few issues along the way. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.